While the Supreme Court decision does not impact admissions at UNLV, a professor tells me that's not the case for universities in neighboring states. Mainly uh, in Southern Nevada, we might see a lot of people applying to some of the University of California system schools, some of the elite private schools that will matter for them. Creating uncertainty for some students that now, according to Dr. Stephen but Nelson. But the professor of education of policy also system. wants to remind everyone race is not the only determining factor in college admissions. I think affirmative action. <laughs> ideally could help, but the truth of the matter is many students who are admitted who are affirmative action students were already competitive in the first place. Without taking race into consideration, though, minority applicants must now consider other ways to express their background. One option, an essay, according to Elaine Rubin. The experience of the student for facing discrimination or other things in the past can be used in a way to help qualify them or get them admitted into a school. She's with Advisors, an organization helping potential college-bound students with planning and navigating the application process. She says universities must now adjust admissions to guarantee diversity on campuses. It's going to come down to that school's application process and the resources they have to add different ways that they can make sure and ensure that they're really getting the true picture of some of their top candidates for that school. From not only their past, but what that applicant can add to the campus's future. I think when it comes down to it, it benefits everyone to have diversity on campus. It benefits everyone to have an understanding of how the world is different, how people are different. Now, here in Nevada, the Board of Regents already have a policy in place regarding race and admissions. The handbook states that universities cannot discriminate on that basis, along with other factors, including gender, religion, or sexual orientation. In studio, I'm Kristen Drummond. Back to you, Jim.